Okay, now that we have Dreamweaver set up to connect to our um, XAMPP in our database, uh, we're going to go ahead and write our first code and just kind of take a look at how this is working uh, with Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to make a new. And I'm going to make a new PHP file, but I'm going to be using uh, HTML5. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. It's going to want me to name it right away, so I'm just going to name this index. That PHP and then I'm going to change the name of the document right away because everybody fits to do that and then in the body tag I'm going to hit return and I'm going to make a new paragraph and I'm going to uh, write in there uh, the time is now and then we're going to write in our little uh, PHP script that will call up the actual time. So I'm going to do open caret question mark and then the PHP space and we're going to echo out space. We're going to echo out the word date open parenthesis and then in single quotes we're going to type in there H colon for our I and I can leave it at that and just have the hour and minute, or I can do colon and then do the S. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys to go over two spaces and put my semicolon at the end. And then I'm going to do a space, question mark, closing bracket. Now because this is not at the very, very end of my file, I have to have the closing question mark and caret with PHP 7. You really don't need that. but you only don't need this if it's the last thing on the page but since I have my body tag and my HTML tag I do need that so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna use my control C which is the shortcut for save and since I have live view on it automatically shows up here um, what the time is I can switch from live to design view um, Design will actually show that little PHP symbol, but when I'm working, I just want to make sure that uh, live is on. Sometimes I have problems with that and I turn it off, but uh, for the most part, you should be fine. And there are other ways that you can write the um, date or the time, and you can go into um, W3Schools to find out more ways that you can write that or it should be it's in your book.